Hey everybody, it's a Bull of Brawl Thursday. Welcome back. National Master Potzer play. Never played him on a Bull of Brawl. Never played him at all. In fact, this might even turn into a little uh, Dr. Seuss rhyme time. Dr. Seuss rhyme time. Everybody loves it. This is kind of a strange game. Currently from both of us, actually. And we will kick his knight out and lose the exchange in the process. Good job. Good job by me. Okay, well, we'll go over here and attack the B-pawn. That could at least be a little bit irritating. Maybe he'll just give it back. Yeah, thought so. Ooh, well, that's strange. Doesn't just take on C4, and now we remain equal. We remain as equals. Well, returning the favor on my blunder of the exchange by sacrificing the exchange. Also kind of a strange decision there. I will play a5 without without even thinking about it any further. Not exactly sure why he's allowing this B pawn to become so weak. But he says I'm not worried about it. So what can you do, right? Guy says he's not worried. None of your business. Not your business, but that's a pawn. That is my business. And I will go ahead and just take it. And now I will bring my king around. Play f6. And if he doesn't take it, maybe we'll we'll try to do something else here, like g5. Who knows? Oop, but then he gives us the h-pawn. That probably was not the best Samuel Adams by him. Too many pawns, not enough time for my opponent here. Pre-moving is fun. And that should be enough to do it, huh? You'd think so. But I don't have a lot of time here, so that's what he's banking on right now. So I'm trying to pre-move my way through the world. Trying to get him into a little bit of a mate. Well, we'll take it. Given the uh, bullet slump we're in, we will take any any wins how we can get them coming and going, as they say. We'll take it coming, and we will take it going. Let's put the uh, oop, the regular we'll put the regular Panopodvidic show on here, except that I'm blundering away uh, the normal way the position is played. Ooh, a little strange from my opponent. I would have played for the b6 plan, a little more standard to undermine the c5 pawn, but he says. That's okay. I'll go this way instead, and that's okay by me. There are a lot of pawns here. A lot of pawns. And a bishop is better than a knight in this endgame. So we're okay with that. If he wants to trade, we will trade. We'll go after this pawn, okay? That also is okay by us. Really? He can play this way, huh? I have my doubts. I have my doubts that he can actually play this way. Two pass pawns tend to be better than one. That's okay. Nothing but a bowl full of tricks is what he's got now. Oh, what's that? Can I play a6 and then a7? I think so. Yeah. I could. Oh, I was supposed to play f4 there. That was stupid of me. That was a little bit stupid of me. But okay, we'll come around. And go after this pawn here. Oh, well, that's not good by him. And just like that, I've taken two out of three. That's the benefit of being a, a schmuck against some other players. I guess you drop a little bit in rating and have a chance to work your way back up with some successful bullet brawls, right? They're like, oh, Danny, don't feel bad for yourself. You're doing so good. We love you, Danny. We love you. I love you. Where's my shirt? Um, no, I'm kidding. 
don't ever give me your shirt. Probably because it stinks. Most shirts stink. It's nothing against you. You probably have fantastic body odor. But most shirts stink. Look at that. The legend himself, Fidia Master Elysium. He's good. Ooh, I'm doing little neck stretches right now because I know he's going to be fast. Not going to be able to get myself down on time like I have in the past. So I am pre-moving my little heart out. Pre-moving my little heart out right now. Oop, strange by him. The uh, beachup there. Vitexis. Vitexis beachup there. And we like this. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, we like this. Except he has 95. Yeah, we are losing. Losing already. By being a silly billy. The only advantage of losing is that my moves have been forced, while his have not. So his have taken a little bit more time off the clock. <laughs> That's uh, grasping for straws right there. When you play like, when you play like a silly, silly man, and uh, you're hoping to find the silver lining, silver lining that does not exist when you're getting mated on the dark squares for realsies. Um, I think I have to play this way. I could try f5, but no. No, I don't think it works. I, sh I probably had a better way to try to take advantage of those ponies in there. Try to go take on e7 or something. Maybe I could have done that earlier. I don't know. Whoa, that's not right. I don't think he saw that move. I don't think he saw that. Well, I'm going to take here and then bring my queen over. Whoa. He's just blundering away this game right now. And uh, seriously, that must not be fun to be him right now. Okay, well, that's just a big waste, though. Trying to get himself stalemated, <laughs> but instead gets himself checkmated. Well, that's a best of uh, a best of five if you're counting at home, right? But we'll go ahead and rematch Elysium here. For at least one more time, we will rematch Elysium here and uh, and see what happens. We will rematch Elysium here at least one time. He and I have played so many of these Frenches, and many of them have not worked out too well for me. But we keep playing it, don't we? We sure do. We keep on playing it. We keep on singing that same old song. That same old song. Oops, can't take that way now. Have to be careful. Put the knight here. Maybe we can use the F file. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Well, now it looks like the future holds him blundering a piece. No, it's not a blunder of a piece because he can... He can do just that. Lucky. He's lucky he didn't blunder the piece because he missed that idea, clearly. Really? What? What's going on here? I'll take here, I think. Oh, I guess he's holding on. That's what's going on. He's barely holding on. But now he's going to get some checks. I guess I'll just play here. Not worry too much about it. Because his rook is still trapped. Isn't his rook trapped? I think so. And I think he's losing on time to go along with it. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and take here. Okay, he plays there, but now I have queen h4 check. And I will either win the pony, or you are full of baloney. <laughs> Rhyme time. Rhyme time. Ooh, I would love to just take there. Wow, really not the best play from Mr. Fidia Master Evan Zhu today. I'm happy to be back over 2,400. I'm happy you all joined me. I feel like every time you do this, we bond a little bit more. So many of you are now no longer taking advantage of the free content here on YouTube, and you've said, gosh, this guy Danny's given me so much of his time and his heart. I'm going to go upgrade to that diamond membership on chess.com so I can watch him play 30-minute live sessions. Wow, I just feel so good about myself and what I've done. And if it's Valentine's Day, remember... Diamonds are forever. And I'm talking about diamond membership, everybody. 
That's right. It's a bullet brawl. You can follow me on Twitter at Daniel Wrench, and you can also be a great person today. Talk to you later.